Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a simple problem involving differentiation. So in this problem we want to find the minimum value of the sum of a positive number and its reciprocal. So this is just one of the problems that you can solve and the situation can change but the idea behind it will be the same. So note that the focus of this problem is on finding the minimum value of the sum. So this is the focus of the problem. Minimum value of the sum of a given positive number and its reciprocal. Now, from the word minimum, that's the signal that we will be using derivatives in solving this problem. But the first concern is how are we going to form a function involving the positive number and its reciprocal? So the function should be the sum of the positive number and its reciprocal. So this is how we form the function. We can let x to be that number since we don't know the number yet. Reciprocal means it's the fractional reverse of the number. So if it is x, note x is the same as x over 1. So the reciprocal of x is 1 over x. So this is the reciprocal. But what we want is the sum of the positive number and its reciprocal. So how do we write the sum? The sum is basically x plus 1 over x. So this is the function relating the number and its reciprocal. Since this function is in x, we can simply denote the sum as s and at a function of x. So this is x plus 1 over x. Okay, so how do we find a minimum or a maximum value? We find a minimum or maximum value when the derivative of a given function is zero. And in this case, s of x, the derivative is s prime of x. So what we can do by using this idea, we just get the derivative of s of x and then set to the zero and find that x that will make this zero. Okay, so if s of x is equal to x plus 1 over x, in which we know that this is equivalent to x to the negative 1, then the derivative of s of x will be 1 minus x to the negative 2. So make sure you apply the rule of the differentiation appropriately. And this is 1 minus 1 over x squared. I can actually simplify this into x squared. And I have x squared minus 1. Or you can just leave it as 1 minus 1 over x squared if you find it difficult to simplify it in this way. But basically just think of 1 as x squared over x squared. So this is x squared over x squared. That's basically 1. And then 1 over x squared. And then just add the fractions properly. You copy the denominator and then you will get x squared minus 1 as the numerator. So this is your s prime of x in the simplest form. But keep in mind that what we want is where the s prime of x equal to 0. So all you have to do is to set the derivative equal to 0. If I multiply this by x squared, then the left side will become x squared minus 1 because this will cancel. 0 times x squared is still 0. Now this is equivalent to x squared equals 1 meaning x can be plus or minus square root of 1 or plus or minus 1. Now we have two possible answers in this equation. But if you go back to the problem where we were asked to find the positive number, the positive number and its reciprocal. So that means we don't need x equals negative 1. What we need is x equals 1. Okay, so this x will give you the minimum value of the sum, okay? But we need to verify if it's really the minimum. Okay, to identify whether this will be really, uh, or this value will give us the minimum value, 
we can check that by using the derivative okay so note we also have negative one as a possible answer but we already uh, took it away from our options because it cannot be a negative number so the next option is one so we pick a number before or between negative one and one and let's check what's happening in this interval so I can choose like x is equal to one half I cannot choose x equals to zero because if I choose zero this will become undefined so let's choose a number say one half if you place 0.5 so 0.5 squared minus 1 this will become a negative number so I want you to do that on your own so place a 0.5 on every x and the resulting number will be a negative number if you place 2 for example so there's a number on the right of 1 that's 2 squared minus 1 over 2 squared and this will give you a positive number and that means decreasing and then increasing that means at x equals 1 is really the minimum value okay but keep in mind what we want to find is the sum and not just the x so if x equals 1 will give you the minimum value then what is the minimum value so that means the sum s of x x plus 1 over x when x is equal to 1 so this is 1 plus 1 over 1 which is equal to 1 plus 1 equals 2 so the minimum value will happen at x equals 1 and the minimum value is 2. So therefore, the minimum value is 2. Okay? So just to recap the solution, the key here is since we are going to find the minimum value of, of a given function, then that means we will be applying the derivatives. But before we can do that, we should form the function. So this is the sum of a positive number and it's reciprocal, so we have to form. So we let x to be the number and the reciprocal is 1 over x. The sum should be x plus 1 over x. And then you can simplify if you need to simplify it. But the next thing which you will do is to get the derivative and set it to 0. Because minimum and maximum value can happen only when the derivative is equal to 0. So whatever expression that you will have for the derivative, so just set it to zero and then identify that value of x. And finally, to verify if it's indeed a minimum or maximum value, you can use the first derivative and check what is happening before the number and after the number. A negative means decreasing, a positive means increasing. So that means decreasing, increasing, and that is a minimum point. So that number will give us a minimum value, and in this case, the minimum minimum value is equal to 2. Okay, that's it.